Hi, welcome to the video. My name is Zychronic and today I'm taking a look at the Destiny 2 weekly reset for October 25th, 2022. And I have a little glowy kitty in front of me. And from what I can tell, there's nothing special going on this week outside of the fact that we're on the week two of the uh, Festival of the Lost and I believe it's going to be for three weeks. And there was another update that did release just this week. Hopefully that helped with the drops issue. Anyways, moving on, let's go ahead and take a look at the Nightfall Ordeal. This week we have the Disgrace, which is going to be the Omnigal mission on the Cosmodrome with the big witch that screams a lot at the end. Although not nearly as much as she used to. I don't know why that sounded so sexual, but it did. As far as 100k go, Legend's probably going to be your best bet. As for the Vanguard Strike playlist, we have Arc Singe. The Crucible playlist, we have Team Scorched, and there does seem to be a Crucible Lab still going on. As for the King's Fall Raid challenge this week, it's going to be the Grass is Always Greener. I believe this is going to be in the first major encounter where you have to stand on those totems before War Priest. And in this encounter, instead of just doing the regular rotation, as soon as you're finished with a plate and you go to the middle, instead go to the opposite side. So you're doing figure eights rather than circles. As for the rotating dungeon and raid, first up the dungeon is going to be the Pit of Heresy, and the raid is going to be Vow of Disciple. Up next, let's take a look at the Week 10 Seasonal Challenges. This week, we have five new challenges, and of course, Week 10 is the final week of the season, so you have until the end of the season to complete the rest of them. First up is going to be Treasure Chests Unlocked and Plundered Umbral Energy. This one is level a season-shaped weapon to level 20, only one of them. Defeat targets with Arc or Stasis Supers and bonus in Catch, Crash, Expedition, and Guardians. EDZ Patrols, Lost Sectors, Public Events. And acquire the Vanguard Ornament for Cry Mutiny, which is the Vendor Weapon. I believe this is going to be the Vanguard version. And this one is a Triple Plus XP. And I don't know what a Plane Strider is. It might be an emblem. I don't know. Following that, let's take a look at the Eververse store. Sick Paracausal. Seeing what they do have available. First up, we have a Ghost Shell with a wonderful witch hat on it. Following that, we have It Was You emote, which, uh, which is an emote of some kind. Um, I don't know what it is, because it's just not loading. Uh, following that, we have a transmat effect with the Murder of Crows. Oh, yeah, this isn't going to load either, huh? Oh, here we go. All right, I got, I got some stuff to load. So if it wasn't me, it couldn't have been them, then it had to be you! I don't know what it is. It seems to be a long one. We have a transmit effect, a murder of crows. You come in with a bunch of different crows. And of course, we have the re reanimated verve. What is a verve? Is verve a word? Verve. Vigor, spirit, or enthusiasm. Verve. I believe the another word for this is zhuzh. <laughs> Having a little bit of zhuzh. Yeah, this ain't loaded. Oh, hey, look, finally, took your time. All right, well, we'll check that. Oh, I just realized there's a mystery machine right here. That's adorable. Moving on to the other Bright Dust section. Hopefully something actually loads. First up, we have the Boo emote where you just come back. Oh, look, my eyes are still glowing over here. Oh, it's very scary. Uh, we have the Ornament for Peaceful Rest where you just sit down. There's a bunch of candles around you. Uh, again, my glow is up here. I don't know why it doesn't come with me. Uh, we have the ship called the Desmodus, which is looking like a little bat. We have a ghost shell that's the Hazy Future. Just want to recommend it shakes. And look, the front thing actually changes every time it shakes. Uh, which I, I don't know how often it's actually going to shake, but that's kind of cute. We have a, a uh, mask ornament for the mask if you want to look like the spider, which is obviously a very big mask. Uh, we have the ornament for the parasite, which is the dragon. If you use the parasite, it's actually a really cool looking ornament. And of course, we have a ghost projection. We have some transmit effects, including these stasis engines. We also have the guiding light, looking like this. We have the vex arrival, which looks like that, and a bunch of different shaders. First up, we have the breezy clear, which is a new shader, which has the little flowers on it. I definitely was looking forward to this on one of my weapons, because it has this little flower pattern on it. It's probably where a lot of shaders are going to be heading towards special patterns. Uh, we have an argent... Uh, Terratorn, which is very purple and blue. Where's the purple and blue in this? Hello? This, this previews are ridiculous. We have Amethyst Veil, one of my favorite shaders in the game, and I would highly recommend it. it really depends what you have it on, but obviously it can be very dark. It can also be very bright uh, with, I think, Titan stuff and metals. It can be very bright, but it's very good on a lot of things. And of course, the Lilac Bombast, which looks like this. After that, let's take a look at the gunsmith's inventory. First up, the Perseus D, which is Perpetual Explosive Payload. Actually, what I'm probably looking for on this weapon. More range stuff. Obviously, we have a lot of handling from this. Although, though I'd like to see a bit more handling. Explosive Payload, Perpetual Motion is probably one of the best you can get from a 150 Scout Rifle. Although, I'm not a fan of 150s. After that, we have an NUD, Tunnel Vision and Vorpal on a precision frame. I personally like to see a lot more range, maybe a better damage perk, but not a bad roll. Although the recoil direction could definitely use a bit more. Like uh, like an extended barrel chamber compensator would probably be better on this. Uh, following that, we have a Snorri FR5, Reservoir and Surplus. A decent combination. Has range and hammer forge, so a pretty good roll on a precision frame, and I would recommend it. After that, the funnel web with a 
Perpetual and Thresh. I believe this can have Frenzy or some other better perks, although Perpetual, one of my favorite newer perks, uh, and definitely could have a lot more range throughout the rest of it. After that, we have the Palermo B, which is a Frenzy Ensemble. Ensemble is actually really nice for these kind of weapons because you reload and handle very quickly and has reload perks, although I believe it can have a lot better perks like Enhanced Auto Loading, it can have Enhanced Explosive Light and Pack Casing, definitely a lot better. And finally, we have the GL5, which is an Adrenaline Stats for All. This one can, again, have the Explosive Light, so I would recommend Explosive Light. And of course, if it has Spike Grenades. And of course, just want to give a big thank you to some of my patrons on Patreon. Specifically, big thank you to Mom, Dad, Monday, Super Bacon, Tuna Panther, Casey Reagan, and Marcus Glover for their support on Patreon. And that's it. Hope you guys did enjoy. My name is Iconic, and I'll see you guys on the next one.